right, now we have another question. This one uh, identifies herself or himself uh, as a participant in the program, but this, is, this came in the form of an email. I'm a parent of three adopted children with disabilities. It's my understanding that the treaty, the CRPD, will have the force of law if it's accepted, and it's also my understanding that it will essentially take away parents' rights to choose what is best for their children with disabilities and give these rights to the state, and I hope you'll address this. So if I could please address that. Um, again, the treaty would require no additional obligations on the United States. So the laws, the policies, the practices that exist now in the area of homeschooling would stay in place. We have something called reservations, understandings, and declarations that are a part of the treaty when it would be ratified, which clearly um, articulate the fact um, through a federalism rud, um, and if the listener would like to speak to me further afterwards, I'd be happy to do that. But um, the federalism rud um, ensures and makes very clear that um, nothing in ratification of the treaty would take away the rights of parents or the rights of others in other areas. Let me say, however, that one positive thing that I actually would hope that the homeschoolers were looking at is homeschooling is done more in the United States than most other countries around the world. Hmm. And we have been able in the U.S., both at the federal level with laws like the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and then states as they implement their own states' provisions, be able to ensure that families can in fact homeschool their children. So for us, if we ratify the treaty, that gives us an opportunity to speak with other governments and other parents to say, oh, if you're interested in homeschooling, this is what we do in the United States and we can help you meet other people to talk about what we see as the value of homeschooling. So I don't think this is something that families should be concerned about, mm -hmm. but rather look at this as an opportunity.